Shalom, shalom, shalom. My name is Michael Sano and welcome to this episode of the 12 Cities in Israel Travel Vlog. Now, uh, what are we talking about? Well, this episode we're going to be talking about Airbnb in Israel. Um, as most of you know, Airbnb is a website that connects you with millions, I mean millions, of apartment and homeowners across the world so that you can stay with them instead of staying in a hotel. Now, historically, it's always been a cheaper alternative, but do some research because you want to make sure you get the best deal. All right, let's get started. Let's start up north in the city of Haifa. All right, this first one is a cozy studio in the nice and peaceful beach neighborhood of Bat Galim. This next one is located in Merkaz Carmel or Carmel Center and is located right in the center of the city. And finally, this one is a guest room located on the slope of Mount Carmel and like the others, is close to everything. Now let's move south to the city of Tel Aviv. Located in the trendy neighborhood of Florentine in southern Tel Aviv, this first one is truly romantic. This next one is minutes from the beach and has stunning views of Tel Aviv both day and night. Now, I have to tell you, this one is one of my favorites and I've stayed here. I highly recommend it. The owner is the best and has become a true personal friend. Now, we'll travel east to the city of Jerusalem. All right, this first one is a two minute walk to Mahane Yehuda, the open air market in Jerusalem. If the old city is what you're looking for, this one is right in the heart of it and it has everything that you could need. For a single room, we go back to Mahane Yehuda to this guest room in a multi-floor apartment with rooftop views of the city of Jerusalem. Now, let's continue south to the gateway to the Negev, Be'er Sheva. This first house is in the old city and is conveniently located near everything Beersheba has to offer. Mm -hmm. 
Next, this apartment is in the neighborhood that I used to live in and is around the corner from Ben Gurion University. Finally, this little studio is right in the heart of the old city and is in the perfect location because it's near everything and it is totally convenient. For our last city, we're gonna finish in Sunny a lot. This first one is a tiny little cabin guest house that is perfect for a couple on holiday. This next one is kind of unique. It's a room in a guest house. If you're social, then this one is definitely for you. Okay, I wanna finish in a lot with one that's really special. Um, it's a little more expensive. It's an entire villa. It's got this Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous vibe to it. Robin Leach, did I just date myself? Oh my gosh, it's okay. Um, but whenever I see this one, I wanna be in Israel and I wanna be in a lot. So check it out. All right, so this, as you can imagine, is just a small sampling of everything that Airbnb has to offer in Israel. There are tons more. So if you're not registered with Airbnb, register as soon as you get done watching this video. Check it out. And if you are registered, go on Airbnb now and start planning your trip to Israel. Just so you know, I have contacted each of these listings in order to get permission to show them in this video, and they are all gracious wonderful people, you do well to stay at any one of these listings. Keep in mind though, that um, if these listings aren't available, you can, some of these people own multiple listings. So you can reach out to them and they may have something else for you. Another thing to keep in mind is that some of these listings require blocks. What I mean by that is you can't just stay for a night or two, you need to stay for a week. Just something to keep in mind, but some of these, I don't think you'd mind that at all. Okay, so that covers Airbnb in Israel. We hope you've enjoyed it. And for those who aren't familiar with it, we hope we've encouraged you to use it. Um, it's a cheaper alternative and it'll give you a level of immersion that you would otherwise not be able to get. Um, as far as the listings, we hope you've enjoyed them as well. As I said before, the owners are very gracious people. You do well to stay there. If you want more information about them, I've left the links below in the description. Please, please check them out.
On that note, thank you so much for watching this episode of the 12 Cities in Israel Travel Vlog. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out our 12 Cities in Israel YouTube channel. Um, be a part of the community. Uh, share this with your family and your friends. Also, check out www.12citiesinisrael.com. Check out our Facebook. Check out our Instagram, where every, every single day I'm putting up a brand new picture from our travels to Israel. Also, we want to go back to Israel and film more full length episodes of the 12 Cities in Israel Travel Show. Not the vlog, the show. So, if you want to, go to our website, help us out, donate what you can. We're trying to raise $50,000 so we can get ourselves back there and bring you more content. Okay, that's pretty much it.